In this circuit, we need to find the 7 and equivalent at port P, Q. We utilize the UBC 1 amp, 2 amp method. We begin with a 1 amp test. We connect a 1 amp external current source at the port where we're trying to determine the 7 and equivalent. And find out what is the voltage that appears at that port, the one that we call V1A. I will use, in this case, circuit maker. There is the circuit and at the port PQ I have connected a 1 amp current source and this voltmeter will measure directly the voltage that appears, the one we called V1A. Run the simulation and that voltage V1A is 5.571 volts. V1A is 5.5 7, 1 volts. And now the 2 amp test. Connect instead a 2 amp current source at the port and determine the voltage that appears V2A. Again, I will use Circuit Maker to do that. Let me modify this 1 amp current source. Now should be a 2 amp current source, right? It's a 2 amp current source. And we run the simulation again and we measure directly V2A, 6.964 volts. V2A is 6.964 volts. Let's um copy them together on the same page. V2A is 6.964 volts. Now with those two values we solve this um, systems of equations 1, 1, 1, 2 as we saw in class to determine V7 and, and R7 and where the independent terms are simply V1A, 5.571 volts, and V2A, 6.964. We solve that system. Mm, we enter this vector, let's say 5.571, enter. 6.964 enter two elements and we make an array with that that is a, a vector of uh, unknowns here is the matrix we divide to obtain the solution that is V7 and this is R7 there is a typo here. This should be a 4. V7 is according to our solution 4.178 volts and R7 is 1.393 ohms. We draw the equivalent circuit with a 7 and a voltage source right side up and whatever value we obtain for that positive or negative ascribed to the source in this case it's a positive one and we say this is 4.178 volts and the resistance of 7 and is 1.393 ohms and the port PQ the circuit is equivalent to the original one. Thank you very much.